I think for us, we're trying to stay connected and just play the right way. You know, we're trying to play our brand of basketball and us defending the ball, rebounding and getting out and running, you know, playing together out there. So I think that was the main part. Uh, what do you think that just says about you guys' connectivity in today's performance, your franchise record for assists? Uh, we kind of been struggling uh, offensively, you know, these last couple games, last 20 games. Uh, you know, we've been trying to do it with our defense. I think we've been second in defense. So, you know, we try to emphasize, you know, sharing the ball and, Obviously, giving the ball to, to Jimmy and Bam and, you know, playing off of that. And I think we did just that tonight. And like I said, it's just a game that we can build on moving forward and, and you know, keep putting things together. The Miami Heat absolutely poured it onto the Portland Trailblazers last night, beating them by 60 points. 142 to 82 and they showed no signs of slowing down throughout the entirety of this game right not only did they hit 21 threes but they also set a franchise record with 41 assists okay and they had 17 steals as well miami is one of the most underrated teams in the nba once again this season and we need to stop sleeping on miami we saw what they did last year when we all you know took a snooze on them, went to the NBA Finals. And this year, they're better. They got Nikola Jovic, who is fitting the system perfectly. They added Terry Rozier, who is amazing. They added a guy in, you know, Jaime, right? This team is better, they're deeper, and they're more talented, more versatile, and they showed it last night. In this video, we're gonna break down some film, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly why Miami is the scariest team going into the NBA playoffs. Now, one of the main reasons Miami set a franchise record for assists is because of this man right here. Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler are two of the best playmakers on this basketball team. And quite frankly, their basketball IQ is so insane. On this play specifically, you're going to see why Bam is such a big threat every single night. So right away, he's going to start to get into the post, right? Now, whenever Bam gets into post, a lot of defenses like to run a system where they double team off the post, making sure he's not able to just absolutely eat inside the paint. So boom, you see... Uh, um, you know, Murray come here, send the double team, but watch what Bam Adebayo does. He's looking this way, right? Forcing Murray and Scoot Henderson to think he's going to pass over here to Patty Mills, but at the end of the day, Tarot's year is going to come around here to the three-point line, but Bam never wavers. He is still looking at the top of the key, kicks it over as Murray, you know, overestimates the guy behind him, right? I mean, just, just watch how this play breaks down, right? He's looking this way, not even paying attention to Terry Rozier, which keeps Murray jumping up in the air. Like, what are you even doing, right? Boom, now he's delayed. Scoot trying to be like, get over there, get over there. What are you doing? Terry has just enough time to put up a three. Bam Adebayo is so smart. And you can tell throughout this video, you're going to see a lot of great passes by him. That's just the first one. Okay, here's my favorite three of the day. This is out of a timeout, out of bounds play, right? So basically what we're going to see here is we're going to kick into Bam Adebayo, right? Right away, let's get him the ball top of the key. Like we said earlier in the video, Bam Adebayo is one of our best passers, one of the highest IQ players on this team. Now, right away, we're going to see a bunch of guys here up in this mix. Now, the reason being is we're trying to get Terry Rozier off a screen, a wide open in the corner for three. So, boom, right away. You see Nikola Jovic getting to the inside of this screen, right? Trying to pretend like he's cutting to the basket. But in reality, he's just getting in the way, forcing a switch. And now, boom, watch Haywood Highsmith. He's looking at his guy here and saying, all right, let me just get in his way. Boom, shuffles over to the left side. And 34, if you're 34, you got to step up. Doesn't. This is where you can confuse a defense. Terry Rozier, wide open three. Once again, get the ball into your best three-point shooters. And Terry Rozier gets to go. Let's watch it one more time here. Again, get it to Jovic. We're going to see him come off the screen to the right side. And then watch how Highsmith works here. Just shuffles right into the way of the defender. And Terry Rozier, again, open three. Beautiful basketball. Now, before we get into this next play, guys, do me a big favor. Hit that like button just so we can get this video out to more Heat fans around the world. But also, subscribe if you're new. It is free. It doesn't cost anything. And I will be covering the Heat for the rest of the season, the playoffs, and the offseason as well. So make sure you guys join the family. Now, look at this beautiful play again. You're going to get um, this man in the middle. He's going to fake like he's cutting into the, to the basket. But in reality, just going to screen zero. And now you get a little bit of, you know, confusion by the defense, right? Whenever you get screened... 
the Trailblazers play defense where you switch everything. So boom, right away, a little bit of confusion between A and Scoo Henderson. They both try to switch to Terry Rozier. And then on the backside, we get another screen here by Jimmy Butler, who again, just gets in the way. I mean, dude, Miami is so good at drawing up plays, getting their playmakers the ball and finding open threes. And I'm telling you right now, what we're starting to see them do offensively is just a little sprinkle of what they're going to do in the playoffs, man. So smart, so athletic, and the IQ, I mean, they're one of the best coach teams in the NBA, and it's starting to show. Now, real quickly, I do want to give another big shout to Nikola Jovic. Man, is fit into this team like a puzzle piece. And last night, he only played in 17 minutes, but you can tell when he's on the floor, the spacing is just so much better, right? So here we go. T-Row, top of the key. You're going to see DeAndre Ayton, you know, sort of fall asleep here defensively, and T-Row just makes a good outlet pass. And Nikola Jovic is a guy who just has the spacing, has the ability to just spot up and pull up from downtown, which, guys, think about it. From last season, the, the Heat weren't a great three-point shooting team. This season, they have been showing signs of extreme versatility. Nikola Jovic is a big reason why, but so is Patty Mills, man. Patty Mills has been nasty ever since coming to this Miami Heat team. Now, watch this play. We have a fast break here. Looks like we're getting a three, maybe even a four-on-one fast break here for Miami. Now, look at the ball movement. Look at the extra passes that this team takes, right? Obviously, it looks like you probably have an easy lob here to Thomas Bryant, but Miami is trying to really turn into a three-pointing team, right? And you got to really get hot for the start of the playoffs. And this is exactly what they did last season, right? So, boom, Jimmy kicks out. Thomas Bryant looks a little bit upset. Yeah, you had a lob. But let's get better from downtown. So once the playoffs start, we're not nervous to take some of these shots. So Jaime could have could have taken a wide open three. But again, look at extra outlet. Jimmy just gets in the way. You can tell they've done this before. And they practice this fast break a lot, right? Jimmy just gets in the way from the closer. High Smith, a very good shooter in this game. I think he was, what, five of six from downtown. Easy three in the corner. The ball movement on this team just doesn't make sense. And like I said, 41 assists in one game. Guys, this team is turning scary again. Guys, real quickly, before we finish off this video, I need you guys to do me a big favor. Underdog Fantasy is doing the most legendary thing in the world. Not only if you use my code in the description, they will give you a free $100 depending on how much you first deposit, but also they're going to give you a free square as well. Now, what that means is, for example, let's just say Jimmy Butler, right? They're going to have Jimmy Butler over half a point, right? And every single couple of days, they're going to give you freebies that you can just easily win money on. Go claim your free $100 by depositing $100 or whatever you want. They'll match a first deposit, but also... Go get a free square. Go win money. They have so much you can bet on. And it's not just basketball. If you like MLB, MLB is here as well. They have tennis. They have NHL. They have soccer. They have uh, women's soccer, FIFA, esports, racing, golf. They have everything you could think of. And they have live drafts as well. So if you want to get in an MLB draft and play that, you can. If you want to get in an NBA draft and play with some people, some of your friends, you can do that as well. If you use my code in the description, not only will they match your first deposit, but they're going to give you free money as well in terms of these little bets, right? These little bets that you can put in. Tyrese Halliburton, over half a point, the easiest money you'll ever make in your life. Go check it out, and let's get right back into the video. Now, one of the biggest reasons outside of the three-point shooting or outside the assists was the defense. And the defense has always been one of the best in the NBA, but this, over the last couple of days here, weeks here, right, the Heat are really starting to get into it defensively. I've been the top defense in the NBA, you know, over the past year. The whole season, I guess you could say, right? But their ability to just get steals, right? Play the passing lanes and just, you know, take advantage of mistakes from, um, you know, opposing offenses. It's just really, really good to see. And this is another reason why their offense is so fluid, right? Because they can create turnovers and create fast break situations. Never let your, D, your opposing team set up defensively. And that's exactly what they do. Look at this play here um, in the post. Again, they're going to try to feed it right here. You've got that mismatch on Nicole Jovic and DeAndre Ayton. They're trying to get it inside from easy, uh, you know, layup. But Ter Terry Rozier jumping up here, just causing a little bit of disruption down low, forces A into, you know, mishandle the ball giving Jovic an opportunity to basically just steal it I mean great ball there uh great defense there by them then here we go Scoot gets a screen good switch by Bam Adebayo right Terry trying to fight over boom switches and look at look at Bam Adebayo man getting his hands in there easy steal again I mean everything that this team does defensively is amazing again you get this high pick and roll here with DeAndre Ayton uh 
kicks it over to Aiden, can't handle it, boom, another steal. I mean, they just take advantage of the little mistakes. Guys, the Heat are one of the scariest teams in the NBA right now. And as they continue to heat up, no pun intended, they're going to be a threat to win it all this season. But comment down below real quickly, who do you think is the biggest threat to Miami? It might be themselves, but is it, you know, the Celtics, the Bucks? Are you guys scared of any team right now? Or are you guys, you know, completely confident in your team going into the offseason? Let me know real quick. Again, great play here by the backside help. Uh, Haywood Highsmith, great play by Jovic. Both, you know, doing it together. Getting a steal. Looking great, man. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Join the family. The Heat are starting to heat up.